Hi, my name is Stacy Phillips. I'm here to show you guys how to iron. So to start, I'd like to show you I am working with a beautiful ironing board here. It's a hotel, so it came very standard, but I got pretty lucky in that it has a nice wide base. This wide base gives me a lot of room to work and makes ironing go a lot faster. It also has a mesh backing here to avoid having your clothes get too damp. This iron was also in the hotel room. I got lucky because it's a steam iron. Make sure you fill the water up to the top. Make sure you let your iron sit for a couple minutes so it's nice and hot. I'm going to start by unbuttoning this very wrinkled shirt. I like to personally unbutton my shirts because I'm going to do the back and then the two front pieces. You could probably leave it buttoned and try to get both sides at once if you're a pro. I'm pretty new to ironing so I uh, try to avoid giving myself a lot of work at once. So I lay the back of the shirt onto the board filling up as much room as I can. This is my workspace right here. I'm going to take the iron. It has a spray setting. I'm going to spray the shirt to get the shirt damp. Getting a shirt damp makes the ironing go a lot faster. Give the shirt a couple seconds to absorb the water. You don't want it too damp. You don't want it soaking wet. You want it just damp enough so that the iron, the wrinkles come out smoothly. So I'm going to be ironing with the base, the bottom part of the iron, not the top part. I'm putting a lot of pressure onto the shirt. And going to the other side. Anytime you come to a wrinkle that is hard to get out, you use the steam feature. So I'm steaming this part of the shirt for right now. You can't really see the steam until I lift the iron up. Now you can see the steam coming out, hopefully. So I finished the back of the shirt. I noticed I missed a wrinkle here, so I'm going to try to get that out before switching sides. Steam again because it's a pesky little wrinkle. There we go. If you had starch, you wanted a really starchy shirt for a uniform, you would spray that first. So I'm moving to the side. I'm going to lift the sleeve up and get that out of the way. can be fun guys. I know you think it's faster if you just throw your shirt in the dryer to save you time, but you're not going to get all the wrinkles out by doing that. So on to the other front panel. Again, make sure you push on down the bottom of the iron and not the top. The top doesn't really uh, do much for you. And the flatter your shirt is, the easier it is to get wrinkles out and prevent new wrinkles from occurring. Okay. I like how this looks. So I'm going to move on to the sleeves now. My cuffs are already undone. Um, you would want to undo them. Make sure your shirt, the sleeve is nice and flat. I'm going to attempt to only do the sleeve once without flipping it over, so hopefully I get all of the wrinkles out at once. Avoid getting too close to the edge if you don't want to crease. If you want to crease, firmly push on the edge here. Go on the edge. That will uh, leave your shirt creased. Okay, let's see if I got both sides at once. Yeah, this side looks pretty nice too. So we're going to try this sleeve next. Make sure your cuffs are undone. Lay your shirt out flat. Again, the flatter your shirt is, the uh, easier it is to prevent more wrinkles from happening. Again, using steam for any pesky uh, wrinkles that don't want to come out. I 
I'm not the best at ironing, but like I said, I think it gets the job done. It's pretty easy. It took me but about five minutes to do this shirt. I probably could have done that faster if I wasn't talking to you guys. Now, um, the colors are the hardest part. This color actually looks pretty good. If you had a wrinkly collar, you would lay it out flat, iron the uh, straight edge of the collar all the way across, and then you take uh, the little bottom, the top of here, and bring it to the bottom of the collar. So your collar is folded in half, and then you push down with the base of the iron just in the middle, the back part of your collar. So. Uh, your collar will stay up right. See, now we have a nice little sturdy collar here. So I uh, hope this was a good video. Let me know what you guys think and how I can improve. I would love to hear your tips also and ways to improve my ironing. Uh, hope you guys have a good one.